Hello and welcome to the treasury. This episode we'll be playing The Sims 3. So we're gonna hit this play button right here and see what kind of funky family we can make. If you go into new game, ah, uh, we should make the family name. What about Thompson? The most like Tom Tom Thompson. The most like average sounding white name last name ever yes thompson now we have to figure out first names though i can't imagine what we're gonna put as that but let us make a family oh he's gorgeous he is gorgeous we'll have to use him oh what is your name sir your name will be let's go with marcus marcus thompson very white very white indeed we should totally not make him white though hey I thought your last name was going to be Thompson. Game, you are throwing me off here. Tom. How do you expect me to spell this? What if I didn't... I probably didn't even get it right the first time, game. Thompson? Just Thompson. And he's a, he's a male. He's a young adult. He's a good-looking young adult, man. What would we do without this guy? He's pretty darn... Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm digging those sideburns, though. Them sideburns are not that sexy. Let's put something different on his face. How about... Marcus? Marcus, you are sexy. Marcus, we're gonna put you like that, Marcus. You, you need some better eyebrows, though. You ain't, you ain't that looking. Ah, there you go, Marcus. Now you're sexy. Now let's get to your looks. I think your eyes are pretty... You look high as hell. Let's let's fix those eyes. Now you look angry, Marcus. What why what did I do to you? I didn't. So calm down. Your generic white name is gonna be a blue name. So let's get you blue just because that's freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, clothing. Clothing, clothing. What should we put on our Maha! I think that is very, very approachable clothing wear for you, Marcus. You look beautiful. What kind of traits should we give you? Let's see, you are definitely ambitious. I can't see anything else of you right there. You and that blue skin, I'm sure you've been through a lot. Art, art is not your thing though. I don't think that uh, that's gonna work with you being blue because there's too many people who'd make fun of you. Uh, let's see Marcus, what else should you be? A daredevil, ah. It's a wonderful thing to be. Yargo. Oh, eat the dirt, Marcus. Eat the dirt. Mm -hmm. He's very flirty, ah. but picking up girls is another story. Uh, and uh, why don't we go with thanks. something like... Okay, you're definitely a loser. I'm sorry, I, I'm not being racist against your smurfy skin, <laughs> but you're not very cool, I'm sorry. And he's totally going to be the CEO of a mega corporation. Why not? I mean, he's a smurf. You like you like wieners. You definitely like the kid music, and I'm assuming your favorite color is blue, but I could be wrong. Donald Matzo, Tor, Pablo Herbie, Ebly Condoroy, Pablo Herbie, Ebly Condoroy, Pablo Herbie, Andy Ebly Condoroy. Condoroy. <laughs> I love it. All right, so our next sim, that one's done. Who should we make? He's got to have a girlfriend. I know we said he was a loser. But there's got to be somebody who enjoys his presence. This dude definitely Ayaka. does. No, it's going to be a girl. Don't worry. Oh, Brandy? So true, Brandy's a... Okay. Anybody else with the name Brandy out there? I don't mean this personally, but it's kind of a girl's name. But if it's you have that name, you're awesome. You're so cool because you're totally out of the loop and it's sweet. But we're really going to name her like... Let's do Jenny. Jenny and Marcus. Jenny with capitals. Jimmy Pullen. Jenny Pullen. I like. Hey, I like that. Yui. Jimmy Yui. Jenny Yui. I like it. And you go. You're a girl. Oh, they. She almost had manly gotcha. hair. All right. And here is Jenny. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? She's not a Smurf. She's actually like a, like a green alien deal. But she's the Emperor of Evil. That is what she is. So let's get done with these guys. They're they're beautiful. That's a beautiful family. Let's do it. Look at them. Oh, they're so pretty. A blue man and a blue girl. Shall they be girlfriend and boyfriend? It's 
spouses. Definitely. They, they've already got married. That's how amazing. They All right. Now we have to pick a wonderful house. We get to pick out of two houses. One over on the left side of the map. Oh, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty. I don't think that's acceptable, though. What about this one? Oh, I think this one is gorgeous. And we're going to buy it furnished because we are too lazy to put our own furniture in. I think so. Look for a little nip and tuck. Oh! Oh, I thought that was talk about something else. That's dirty game. Quit that. We have youngins here on the audience, and you're talking about nips and tucking. I think that's unacceptable. And here we are in Jenny and Marcus's home. It's a gorgeous home. He wants to join the business career. Why don't we let you do that, Marcus? Or is that... Is that my girl who wants to do that? How do I check this? She doesn't. She wants to join the criminal career. You guys are a perfect match. Why don't we watch some TV? Turn it on. Oh my gosh, she can sabotage the TV because she's a technophobe. Sabotage the TV, girl. Do it, I dare you. What do you sh what should you do, Marcus? You should cook some meals. We should we should cook some waffles. Cook them waffles because you're blue. You know how to cook, right? Jenny, what are you doing sabotaging the TV? What if Marcus wants to watch that? You're a terrible wife. Terrible. Is she really sabotaging it, though? Jenny, you can't just poke it with the screwdriver like that. You're going to break it. And if you're trying to do something else, I don't agree with it at all. You're a technophobe, not a techno fetish -shobe. Goodness. Let's check Marcus. Marcus, how's those waffles coming along? That, that, what? Waffles don't go in bowls, Marcus. Oh, he's mixing the ingredients. I'm sorry, Marcus. Sorry. I hope you're gonna, gonna do something good with that, not just mix it. What else do we have? Learn a charisma skill and buy a mirror. Why don't we do that for Marcus? And she wants to learn the guitar skill and take a class in the guitar skill. Jenny, Jenny, I don't agree with this at all. I need to stop you here. Stop sabotaging the TV before you bust it. Oh, so close. The sabotage was unsuccessful. I'm sorry, Jenny. I know. That was very, very mean of me. So let's buy you a TV. No, that's the wrong one. How do we do that? A, a TV? What am I talking about? Let us buy her a mirror. Well, it was actually him who wanted the mirror, huh? That would be in decor mirrors oh snap we'll buy the cheapest one because we're poor we don't have jobs yet boom now you have a mirror you should be proud that as your creator I'm gonna buy you stuff like that oh you guys are gorgeous she needs a guitar though what do you think I made of money practice a speech Let's go in here and practice our speech, mister. Practice extreme speech. Oh, snap. It's extreme. It's not just a speech. It is an extreme speech. All right, girl. He's making you some nummy waffles, so why don't we see if the newspaper's here? Because waffles and newspapers are what it's all about. Look at her, like, tweaking out over there. What was that, Jenny? What was that? Are you done making the waffles, sir? Hurry up. The waffles can't take that long. Alright, she wanted to be in the criminal career, so we better give her what she wants. I mean, she's pretty scary, so... What are you doing, Jenny? You are weird. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, she doesn't want to. Why don't we go eat these burnt waffles? You have to make Marcus feel good about himself. Come grab a plate. Marcus, you got this, buddy. Show him who's boss. You look at that blue face, and you tell them how awesome you are. Please. Oh, look at Jenny's pink spotted guitar. It's gorgeous, and she would just love to play it. Come play your guitar, Jenny. Show him who's boss while your your man talks to himself in the mirror like a crazy person. Well, you're you're good though. You're not crazy for paying a pink, playing a pink uh, spotted guitar. That's hard to say. Pink spotted guitar. Some neighbors have arrived. Oh, let's beat them up. 
As aliens, I do not appreciate you coming into my home. Or coming to my home. Why don't we pretend to be nice, though? Invite everyone in. Come in, guys. Come eat some burnt waffles and watch my husband... Watch her husband stare at himself in the mirror. He's just... He just adores his blue skin that much. It's its no joke, really. But what he needs... He needs to sw quit slacking off. Come here, bud. We need to find you a job while Jenny invites all of the neighbors in so we can eat their stuff. Well, Jenny, if you'd move out of the way, we could bring them in the house and eat their souls, okay? And then we're going to sell all the doors so none of them can leave. He wanted the business, right? Well, too bad we're giving him science. Okay. Don't tell him, but we're going to sell all the doors so they're stuck in here forever. No, I don't want to extend the door. I want to completely take it out. Is that possible? Yes, if I knew how. Hand tool. There we go. Instador is Instagon. Ha ha! What are we gonna do now? Ooh, I think Jenny's got a thing for this Morgan guy. We won't tell her husband. Let's just flirt around or flirt around just a little bit. We're going to kill them with crappy entertainment and striped couches. That's right. And the burnt waffles. Don't forget them burnt waffles. Why doesn't he go talk to this chick? Oh, well, that is not a chick, is it? James Leary. Hello. Let me join your guys' watching session. Well, Jenny here gets all up in this guy's business. Oh, snap, guys. This Morgan character, he's rich. You know what that means? We're ditching our green hus our blue husband, and we're going with this guy. This guy right here, Mr. Rich Pants. Oh, yeah. We're going to get you, Mr. Rich Pants. And when we do, oh, are we going to get you? I don't, I don't even know. You don't even know. None of us know, but it's gonna happen. Oh snap, guys. Somebody has chosen to eat the, the waffles. The burnt waffles. Oh, no, they're horrifying. James, what are you doing? Oh, this is the guy I thought was a girl. James, quit that. What are you doing? Let's sell the fridge, because all they get to eat is burnt waffles. That's it. They don't get nothing else. Are we trying to kill them? No. We just want to make them suffer. Goodbye, Fridge. Goodbye. On the other hand, these two are getting along great. This richy rich man. Look at their green bars of numbness. It's just, it's just working. Let's let's use a pickup line. Let's see how he reacts to that. She like it is. Ooh, I think he likes that. Those two over there aren't getting along very well though. Oh, we did it, guys. We made them friends, and we're asking this man if he is single, because if he is, even if he isn't, we're gonna be the rich women from now on. Just the green girl. He is single. Oh. The beauty of it, we need to learn two more traits of his single face. We don't want to play the guitar. We have forgotten all about our wishes. We want to know of this man. Of this single rich man. Okay, guys. These two have hit it off great so far. We are going to do our very first kiss and see how well that works. Oh, my goodness. Break up with Marcus. Marcus, I think it's time to be over. I fell in love with your green skin, but I'm thinking, declare Marcus a nemesis. Oh my gosh, we are doing that, and we are breaking up with his sad blue face, because he's blue. da ba dee da ba die. That's true. Shall we? How do, how, do we even, how do we even break up with him? Apologize. Calm down. 
confess for cheating. Oh, that's terrible. I think I think I'm gonna declare him my arch arch nemesis. <laughs> my arch nemesis. Come here. Come here, Marcus. Marcus, listen to me, woman. <laughs> what are you? No. Learn a handiness yeah. skill. I can't cancel his TV viewings. What is going on here? Cancel them viewings. It will not allow me to. Oh, there we go. Wow. Ask to behave. Oh, he was over here sitting on the couch, you know, getting ready to yell at us. Let's see what let's see what Marcus has to say about us just cheating right in front of him. I'm so sorry, Marcus. I feel kind of bad now. And then my girl's sitting over here just like Yeah, you know, we're just we're done. I'm sorry to say this. But we're done. You and your blue skin. Plus, I've always liked green sk white skin better. This is so racist and very, very... I feel so bad. I know they're just computer programs, but I feel so bad. Marcus, I'm sorry. Jenny is very angry with Marcus. Shouldn't it be... Shouldn't it be the other way around? He wants to be mean to her. Fight. <gasps> you can hit her? That's terrible. Accuse of being insane. Accuse of cheating. Accuse of being insane. I like that. Because we're women and it just works. Oh, they're over. <laughs> mean. Breakup. I'm sorry, Jenny. You asked for it. And then she wants to be mean back. We are very... Very responsible adults. Accuse of being a loser. That's even worse. I mean, I wouldn't mind being insane, but being a loser. That's just uh -huh, uh -huh. A, completely different. Hey, not shooby, not what are you doing? Oh, I thought he was getting all naked and stuff. Oh my gosh. Mr. Morgan, he has a fancy laptop. Okay, do it. Mock ambition. Oh, that's kind of me, and let's do it. You can't use the potty when he's using the potty. That would just make you weird. We're gonna clean up this plate of waffles. We like the burnt waffles, but it's stinking up the house with all these bodily functions in here. Yeah, you can't use the toilet. You tell him, Marcus. You tell him. <laughs> I think Marcus has to go potty. Why don't we let him go? Use the potty. Buy a fridge! I don't think so. And this is a life of a sim. A sim with no food. No beds because the aliens have teleported them outside. It's... It's beautiful, isn't it? Being a sim. I feel so bad for them. So, so bad. Oh, and midnight has hit. The sparklies. The lights. It makes them enjoy the last moments of their life. Uh-oh, what is he doing? Morgan, be nice! Oh! He scared him. <laughs> oh, they don't like each other. I could give a few reasons to be it, but I think he's just jealous of his orange hair. Oh, that's mean! He goes over and scares him, and then he goes to, to Jenny, and he flirts with her. That's awesome. Oh, I think they all want to go home. I'm thinking they do. In their moments of despair. They're all having a grand old time, I swear. They're all just loving on each other and having the time of their lives. Aren't we, Morgan and Jenny and, and Thomas, and, or Mr. Thomas and James? And I, don't, I don't even know who this guy is. Who are you? Who are you, sir? I think... I think we need to speak madness to this man. We have not met this man. His name is Erwin. Erwin, we will speak madness to your face. And you will fall in love. We will have a wonderful time. Not fall in love with me, but my green, madnessy skin. 
Look at them. Look at their happy emoticons above their heads. I think they're having the best time of their lives. Look at what we can do. I've been sitting here this whole time, staring at these guys waving in the air like they just don't care, and I could have dropped them down like this. Oh, I want all of you. All of you to fall. Fall to the ground. Marcus, you're the, you're the saddest one here. Why don't we do you? Oh, poor Marcus. Oh, rock bottom. Oh, you poor guy. You poor Marcus. And he stinks and he pissed himself. I'm sorry. Oh, and then Morgan, he's gonna come over here and make it all better. Oh, and she he peed on Jenny's feet. Oh, and he can't scare him anymore. <laughs> Ooh, we can haunt the house with polter poltergeist. Let's scare the heck out of these guys. Whoa. Oh, I don't think I like this. I don't think I like this at all. This is just kind of scary. I, I, I take it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> the house is red. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, the table's coming alive. This is kind of awesome. Next up, the Quake Maker! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think Jenny died. Jenny? Jenny? Jenny, are you alive? Jenny's dead, guys. Oh, poor Jenny. Poor, poor Jenny. Faint? Oh, she fainted! <laughs> oh, who's next? Erwin! Erwin died next. <laughs> and this, like I said, is the wonderful life of Sim.